let me know if you guys can hear me. I have on my AirPods. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. Please let me know. Yes or no. I'll wait for some people to get in. These, this is super, super old. Um, this is probably years old. <laughs> so. I'm just going to wait until a couple people come in. Hello, please let me know if you can hear me or not. I um, have my iPad my AirPods in and uh, hello Linda yeah let me know if you guys can hear me if not I'll take these off I thought maybe it'll be easier to hear me this way but let me know please let me see oh awesome thank you Stephanie I had no idea I didn't know if these it's probably stupid, but I didn't know if these AirPods had um, microphones in them or not, or if they were just for hearing. <laughs> I know that probably sounds silly, but, you know, I'm silly. Hello, Janine. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Like I said, so this is super old. I've had this one. I have a couple in my bedroom from years ago that I've just kind of hoarded. Um, because I was afraid of exactly what's happened, which is running out of jewelry bags. <laughs> but I have many other videos anyway to do with you guys. So, but, so we have a fun old school jewelry bag. So sometimes in jewelry bags, I don't know about you guys, but you very often get different things. And um, one of the common different things is napkin ring holders. And that's what this one is. I'm curious how many I have in here. So there's at least three that I see. So hopefully there's four. I mean, there's only three of us in my house right now anyhow. But oftentimes, oh, look, no, there's four. There's four. These are actually very pretty. I have a little um, buffet that I have these things in there. And uh, one of the guys I was working with said he loves tablescapes. So uh, I think it might be fun because my goal, again, is to clean off my table. So... <laughs> may come on again later to show you guys what things I decided to keep that was on my table. We're going to try to keep control of that. I know we've we've had the, those problems. Yes, I actually really like these. And it's nice that there's four because that's, that's the normal number of people. Like if we have another couple over or three, if it's my daughter or whatever. Um, and you can mix and match though too. Sometimes if you get some that are somewhat similar, because I do kind of like that it fits together, but also a little different kind of thing. This is BSK, and it is in just decent condition. Um, it's a little bit of, of wear in it, but it's not bad. This is really beautiful. I love the finish on that. It's a decent size. Brooches are getting harder and harder to find, so... I'm never going to sneeze at them. And then this looks like glass. This is really beautiful. Like, it's a ballerina pink. You guys can barely see it. I guess I must have pink hand, pinkish hands. <laughs> so that one's very cute. And there was this one. So this is just plastic ring. It's kind of crazy. It's fun though. And this is copper. I think this is like artist made. This might even be um, a copper bracelet for a dude. 
dude copper bracelet. It's got a really beautiful patina to it. I feel like this is really big. Yeah, see? But it's beautiful. I love artist-made stuff. I don't know if my husband would wear copper or not. Oh boy, there's just, there's stuff that's stuck. That's the story of a jewelry, jewelry bag slash jar. This one, I don't see a name, but it, it's quality. And it is in, I would say, good to very good condition. It's not in like, like new condition or anything, but it's not pretty. Put you guys up a little bit. I think that is gorgeous. And these have little phalanges on both sides. Really well made. That's that's gorgeous. I like that. And then a hoopie. I love a hoopie earring, right? Earphones sound so weird when I don't have like something playing because they're noise canceling. I got them for running, which I have to do later too, but my head hurts. So, so this is Napier. It's signed right here. Let's see, I think that's where the tag was that didn't completely come off. And look at this beautiful necklace. It's pretty long. That is in very good condition too. That is so neat. I like the different, I have to finish my video on the different um, chain types. I filmed it. I just have to put it out, finish editing it and put it out. This is a nice cloisonne bracelet. There is some enamel loss here. That's not in bad condition. And then there's a white one too. And then we have this pew, pewed, <laughs> beautiful yellow butterfly brooch. A very sweet. And then this, I think, is tortoiseshell. You do sometimes get things like that in there. I feel like this is real tortoiseshell. So one of the ways you can tell real tortoise shell is it's not uniform on the inside and outside. Um, they still sell them in some countries. You're, it's, it's illegal to sell them, sell it for the most part. Um, that can change state by state, but I think federally it's also not, you're not able to. This is cute. Still got some stretch to it too. Nice little stretch bracelet. And wooden bangle bracelet. This one's got a tag express. So is this open? It looks like it opens. Oh yeah, look at what happens sometimes to magnets. You don't want to breathe that in. Um, that's usually something I'll just throw out because it's not actually good for you to have that metal dust and breathe that in. That's dangerous. So you either need to replace the magnets or throw, throw it away because you don't want to sell that or to wear it. This is an interesting ring. I do not see a marking. 
a beautiful enamel a cigar cigar ring Ooh, it's an Omega watch. Oh my goodness, no way. What is this one marked? This is marked 750, which is gold. And has the Omega symbol here and here. No way. This is, like I said, this is really old, so don't think this is anything new. I bet you have to open this. That is the Omega symbol there, too. Wow, guys. It's a wind-up. If this is if this is real that that is insane it looks real. Like it's really well made. The printing is really nice uniform. It doesn't look fake. This weave is beautiful on the watch. Sorry. Don't need to be able to read my fortune there. I wonder if it fits me. Decently small. Um, I think it might. It's just really hard to put on by myself. Wow. That is crazy, guys. All right, I take back that Carla hates watches. That is probably one of the nicest finds I've had all year. That's crazy. I had no idea that was in there. And I did not put that in yet there. I know some people say that. You guys know. I don't know enough about watches to even have noticed that in the first place. This is a beautiful Monet bangle. Yeah, that's crazy. And a crazy cool brand, too. This is beautiful. I don't think this is sterling. This is a really pretty earring, though. My goodness, I'm pumped, guys. Buffalo Seminary. That's a local um, school. Uh, so we have this big tangle of stuff here. This one is broken. But not badly. This is really pretty. This, so 24 karat gold or 22 karat gold looks like this. I'm going to test this just to make sure it's not something since there was other gold in here. Nope. It's not. It's magnetic. It's really pretty, though. So sometimes, like, the stuff from India, it is not always marked either. And it looks really orange, so it looks fake. So I haven't found it that often, but I know it's very, not very often marked. Because I do have friends that... uh well, I have friends that are from India that have shown me their jewelry. This one's kind of bent out of shape. It's uh, it's cool though because it's got that. Hello, Steph. Oh, what is this? Look at how cute that is. This that looks like it could be sterling as well, but I don't know. It's super cute. Hi, Miss Gina. That is so adorable. I love that. You guys missed the crazy thing, but I will show you again at the end. 
like I usually do. I have a little more space because I tried cleaning some stuff out. It was amazing. I cleaned some stuff out. This is Monet. It is not in great condition, which is a shame. Actually, this side is not bad. It could. No, look at how, how worn it is. It's such a shame because these are smooth and buttery. Again, for those of you guys that are joining me, this is a really old jewelry jar that I got a long time ago. So, do not find these really anymore at all around me. That's pretty clear. But I hoarded them for a while because I was afraid that I wouldn't have any jars for you guys. And that's exactly what happened. So I still have some. These are glass. There's no name or anything. It's like a little drop down here. These are pretty. So these are the kind of um, costume necklaces. It's in good condition that I like and I would wear. This guy has a big old hook. Big old hook. Before they got all popular and everyone started buying and then they went online and all of that stuff back in the good old days. There was only a couple of us doing the jewelry jars on YouTube. And this guy, that's cool. This is so tangled. Hello, Miss Lori. This one has a tag. Claire's. And then I need to get this one untangled somehow. There we go. Through there. <laughs> Yay, I got it. This is actually very pretty. I don't think it's like any, like marked anything, but again, this is one of the ones like I would wear. For what, Lori? Whew. I am still in a daze. This is gorgeous. What are you? This is really nice. It's got the little flower. Lots of black and white in here. One thing we don't get as many tangles. So this is nice. Another Chloe is an A bracelet. I love these. So there's a couple. I have a lot. If any if anyone's interested, I have so many because I I love them too. So I was collecting them and then and they just kind of got out of control. These are pretty. These are glass earrings. Hopefully the other one's in there. Guys know the rules about earrings, but don't get excited until later. This has lost its stretch, but it will be used to craft with. It's a cute little plain earring. This one too. Liz and Company. I think that was like in pennies or something. Yes, they, they do sell different sizes. So I have some bangles from Judith Ripka that are small. 
and they fit me so nicely. They're like a size small. I think Bone makes some small too. Um, if you ever notice, a lot of them have sizes on here. Um, this one does not, but sometimes I'll have small, medium, large. It's another nice one. Kind of Chanel-esque with the pearls and chains. This guy's plastic. The other earrings. So we got two, two plain old hoopies. These are beautiful chandelier earrings. I used to love these things. Like, they sold those at, like, Claire's and stuff. And I always loved them. Oh, this one's 925. If I can get it untangled from this. These guys. Put those with my bead lot. Okay. This is nice. I don't like this. Obviously, that will come off. And then these are nice to reuse. They're sterling. But that's a beautiful lotus flower with the 925. <laughs> Oh, uh, what are you? He's broken. I think that's also 925, though. So, like I said, those are nice to have. This is plastic. And this is pretty. It looks like one of those Lisa something something. Claire's. Claire's. I used to wear stuff like this all the time. And Claire's. That was like my jam. All right. Almost done. I do have to run today. My head hurts so I'm stalling. I thought this was really cool. I could see this from the bag. I love this. And it's in good condition, too. I don't think it's sterling silver or anything. Let's see, I do have my magnet over here. Yeah, that's magnetic. But it's very nice. So I quite like that. Just the sound of pearls and beads. I know I love I love that sound too. These are cute. I these had to have come from somewhere because I find these a decent amount. It's just little uh things. I think this is just scrap. I do have my loop with me today. I didn't need it for the last one. But my light is broken. Yeah, 14 carat. So this one's broke. I love bows too. Um, I have a couple of them. Single earring, that is beautiful. It's also BSK. Well, that could almost have been like real gold. It's really pretty, but it's only one. Oh, I think I do have two of these. These are pretty. They look like the 1928 kind of thing. Oh, that's fun. I bet this is light glass. That's really fun. See the little pokies in it? I think this is sterling. It might not be. I don't see a mark. I would have thought so. But it might not be. But it still could be. You never know. But that's that's neat. I love the feel of that. 
Little kitty ring. What is this? Purple. It looks like amethyst. Does not say, does it? It says Thailand. Oh goodness, did you guys see that? That's old. That's kind of gross. I think these are amethyst. Amethyst stretch ring. That's fun. A single earring. Cure Frederick's ataxia. Walk to seek a miracle, May 19th, 2001. Uh, this one is pretty. It looks like it might be sterling. Let me look for a mark. Oh, there, there's something. Let's look. <laughs> yeah, look. Oh. 925. See the really beautiful band. I love sterling bangles. Those are gorge. Gorgeous. And this guy, he is not he has seen better days. There's a lot of vertigree on here. And peeling, I think, too. That's a shame. It's a pretty fruity earring. No, I think it's glass. This is sterling. That is interesting. Let's see. Those are gorgeous. Do you guys? Oh, those are so pretty. I think that's glass, but still, it's really pretty. This is Mark Sterling with the hook C clasp. That is neat. And this guy's last. I think this one. I don't know why there's like the random like there was supposed to be a safety chain but maybe not it doesn't feel like it looks like it's marked here let's see you know that would be cool if it was sapphire right 750 What else does it say there? Let's see. Yeah, one AR seven fifty. And I think this is broken off of here. And this little thing. I think that's how it would go. But this goes in there. And it would have hooked to here. Right, and then maybe this fell off of here. I don't know. I think there's more to it than that. That so this is this is gonna be scrap, but still, it's also marked here. What does it say? One sec, I'm looking. N762 is what it says. I don't know what that means. 
and 762. And then there's like a little, it's kind of gross. It says something else, but I can't read it. But I think this is also gold, which because it is so broken, which is unfortunate, because it's really pretty. Yeah, I'm a, I, I'm a hoarder. I wanted to. I wanted to have stuff to share with you guys still. But yeah, I apparently have been. So this one is going for scrap, along with the broken necklace. I am not gonna scrap anytime soon because gold is. Gold and silver are down a lot. This is just a teeny bit um, out of shape, but this I'll, I'll keep to wear with my other bangles. And we also had this guy, really pretty. But, oh my goodness, this is crazy. This is smooth like butter, too. This is like the nicest thing I have found in a very long time. There's something on the very bottom. Swiss made. Really, Gina? That's crazy. This is so amazing. I don't know if it will fit me or not, but we will find out. Yeah, let me know what any of your greatest finds were because this is definitely amazing. The gold was amazing. Um, yeah, but this is crazy. And then we also got some nice costume pieces and some really pretty things for my tablescape. <laughs> So let me know what your biggest find was, because I want to know, and what your favorite thing that I found that wasn't gold was as well. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for spending time with me, and see you guys later.